Hi, Jonah here with Parts Built 3D, and today I'm going to uh, talk about these little snap rings that go on the Flash Forge Adventure 3 and Adventure 4. And there's a few things I want to talk about with them. One is how to get it on the PTFE tube, because the PTFE tube is so slippery, it's very difficult to get it on. But another thing is, if you're replacing your PTFE tube, and you don't want to replace the snap ring, to get the old snap ring off your old PTFE tube, it's hard to get off without damaging the snap ring itself. So this really only works if you want to salvage the snap ring, but you don't need the PTFE tube. Uh, so what you do is get one of these little straight razors and just cut it off right up close. Almost too close. Kind of feed it in a little bit just like so there it is see it just kind of fell off i still got a little bit on there there we go so that's how you can totally salvage one of these little snap rings so if you're ordering a new ptfe tube you want to salvage the snap ring off your old one that's how you do it you get yourself a straight razor cut it off boom it's off now the next part is to put the snap ring on so i'm going to cut this tube so it's nice and straight, how it would be if it was new. And to, to get the snap ring on, first off, you are going to push the PTFE tube through in this direction. Oh, get on camera here. It's, the, the snap ring is a little bit of a bowl shape. So you wanna push down into the bowl. Just like so. Don't do it backwards. Number one, you won't you won't be able to get it on at all. And it'll just come right off. Well, won't come right off, but it will come off. It won't do its job. So we want to push this through. And the way the best way I've found to do it, there's probably a lot of good ways to do it, but this is this the way I do it, is I got some of this flexible sandpaper at the hardware store. This is uh, 100 grit, I think, P100. I'm guessing that's 100 grit. And it's got this, this flexible, and I just wrap it around the PTFE tube, like so. Take my snap ring, kind of work it back and forth a little bit, and work it on, and it's on. And push it on about a quarter of an inch. Now, if you bought this snap ring off my website, partsbuilt.com, you are probably buying it to put on an Adventure 3 or Adventure 4 extruder. That's kind of what, what I sell them for. What I like to do, I put the snap ring on about a quarter of an inch. And you want your PTFE tube to come down to the to the base right right here. It's hard to see. Let's see if I can get a better angle. You want it to come down to right right here so that your filament just comes up and feeds right into the PTFE tube and doesn't get caught. So if I put this on, you can see I've got about maybe a quarter inch or a little less to go. And the best way to get that and get it accurate, not push it too far, is to put the lid back on, get a hold of it with the sandpaper, and push it in the rest of the way while it's installed. It's a little tricky to push, but you can actually see it move down when you, you can look through this little hole here and kind of see it. And I got it to move down a little bit. Now if we take this off and we look, it's in the right position. Now, when you put your cap back on, always keep an eye on your ceramic eye here. This likes to fall out and disappear. Be gentle, don't damage your filament feed, uh, filament runout sensor. And just pop it back on. One, two, three screws, and you're good to go. So that is how you put the snap ring on the PTFE tube. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.